So I just filled up the little nano cube, do a little water test, well a leak test, not a water test. Um, yeah, test it out, seems like there's no leaks. Um, I mean it's a small tank so there's not really that much pressure to uh, for it to leak, but looks good so far. I added uh, a little bit of uh, white vinegar to clean out the pumps and any uh, residue that was already built up on the tank so you can see all the little algae flowing around and I ended up going to the, the dollar store and finding one of these little brushes that they use for uh, dishes and I basically just scrubbed it all out made sure there's no more algae and it's been sitting for about I'd say about two days now so I'm gonna go ahead and empty everything out without trying to break anything. Let's see, just grab it on the side. Let me just turn it. Actually, you know what? I should grab a, a bucket or something. Try to minimize some of the pressure on this thing. Ah, let's see. I'm in the basement, so I use this little drain. Empty some of this water out. kind of a tedious process but I don't lift it up when there's too much weight in the tank now I did buy this tank used so that's why I did the water test. Even if it was new, I'm still gonna do a water test, but you know, had to make sure uh, there's no leaks. Cause I did buy a tank that was new and it actually did leak. So it keeps you paranoid. New or used, do a water test. Ah. Now that's only a 12 gallon nano. So, now I'm going to try to find a pour to test out the pump and have it run so that way I get the vinegar through it and, um, you know, clean out the propeller and the tubing, that green tube that you see in here. And once I get that done, I will be right back. Alright, so uh, I went ahead and uh, attached a little 9 degree. 90 degree tube over here and I'm gonna go ahead and test uh, how the flow is on this thing let me go ahead and plug it in make sure the negative is negative okay there we go Thanks. 
I'm running out of water. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and turn on the hose. And let me see. The hose in there. Let me go turn the water on. got really good fold to it. It's only a uh, 320 uh, gallon per hour pump. But soon I'm going to update to a uh, maxi jet pump. So oh, let's see. Let me add this on here. There you go. Look at the flow on this thing. It's not bad. Hmm. It's a little light, but not bad at all. Now you see what the vinegar does? It, it basically basically disintegrates the all the algae. I don't know if you did uh, any science projects where you took a um, hard-boiled egg and you leave it in vinegar and it dissolves the shell and that's how you get the naked egg. At least that's what I did back in elementary school but who was paying attention? <laughs> But pretty soon I'm, I'm still working on the top for this thing. Basically I took uh, some MDF board. I traced, uh, traced around the tank. And I went ahead and cut it. Then I put some um, 45 degree cuts on each side. And I just got to find the little face. Uh, what to use for the face that bends kind of easily. And then I'll go ahead and bond to it together. And then um, you know silicone it. Sand it down, paint it, and then uh, I should have a top. And if you want to see what it looks like with the top, it should be kind of like this. But now I made it high so that way I could put LEDs on there without having any issues. So, all right. Let's go ahead and clean everything back up, and then uh, you know I'll go ahead and start start this little tank. All right, stay tuned. All right, now that we're back, I went and went ahead and attached this little uh, 90 degree uh, tubing over here, and basically I place it back here. I twist it around, make sure it fits, and then this. Should fit in here. If I could do this one-handed. Uh, let's see. A little bit technical difficulties over here. Let me try to do this again. 